بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ ریکارڈنگ آف ہیمنگ کوڈ ہاؤ دا ریکارڈنگ از ڈن ان ہیمنگ کوڈ لیٹس بگن ود دا ویری فسٹ ہیمنگ کوڈ دیٹ از سیون سیون کاما فور ہیمنگ کوڈ فار سیون کاما فور کوڈ ایٹ دی ریکارڈنگ اسٹیج دا ریسیو ورڈ از The receive the receive word is V is equal to V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7. It is simply that we have changed this letter V from C. The at the transmitting side we call it C, at receiving side we call it V. And this V1, V2, V3, V4 are the information bits and V5, V6 and V7 are parity bits. As you can see over here, V1 is equal to I1. V2 is equal to I2, V3 is equal to I3, and V4 is equal to I4. These are information bits. And V5 is equal to P1, V6 is equal to P2, and V7 is equal to P3. These are three parity bits which were uh, added as uh, parity bits in the code word. The decoder determines three parity checksums. Now, what happens is that this uh, three checksums are performed at the uh receiving de uh, decoder side first of all how this is done s1 is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 and it is modulo added with this parity bit v5 which is received so what it does that first of all it adds this information bit 1 2 and 3 these are if you uh, see this uh, uh, then you will find that this is actually nothing but information bit 1, information bit 2, and information bit 3 as it is written over here. So as we have seen that this is also, this is how this parity was constructed. It is just simply the ad modulo 2 addition of information bit 1, 2, and 3. We are doing the same thing over here. We are adding this information bit 1, 2, and 3 using uh, modulo 2 addition and whatever the result is it is added uh, in v5 that is parity bit 1 then this v2 v3 v4 is added in uh, added mod using modulo 2 and then this is uh, modulo 2 addition is done with v6 that is parity bit 2 and then for v3 s3 same thing v1 plus v2 plus v4 it is same as in uh, when we are constructing or calculating the parity bit that is i1, i2 and i4 and this result is uh, added in parity bit 7. So, uh, but how do we know that uh, an error has occurred or not? If this S1, S2 and S3, they all are 0, then we know that no error has occurred. We must get this uh, zero. All the three S1, S2, and S3 must be zero. From the chart, uh, from the parity checksums, we define S is equal to S1, S2, and S3. Now, what we have defined over here, this S is equal to S1, S2, S3, is called syndrome. What is syndrome? It is simply it says that if all these zero, they are zeros, then it means the in the received V there was no error. But suppose since there are three bits. We, there are eight possibilities and uh, having these eight possibilities we can see there are eight possible uh, there a one two three four five six seven there are seven uh, possible uh, possibilities of error and actually we are talking about only one error for example this v1 is toggled or has has been received in error the all the rest of the bits are correct or this the error has occurred in this v2 all the rest of the bits are correct or the v3 is received incorrect all the other bits are correct and so forth and 0 0 means uh, there was no error so this s1 s2 s3 is actually uh, gives us the location of the error in the received bits how this uh, uh, how do we get the location we will see from the syndrome table later on this is called actually error syndrome or syndrome of V and S is 0, 0, 0 if no error occurs. Now there is, an, uh, there is a problem in error detection in having code. 
the occurrence of errors does not necessarily give a non-zero error syndrome. A zero error syndrome is also obtained when an error pattern changes a codeword into a different codeword. It is possible that you get this 000 in case when the this received code word has been tra transformed into another valid code word as i have explained to you this syndrome indicates only one error if has if only one error has occurred but if multiple errors occur in this uh, received code word then it is quite possible that it will it has been transformed into another valid code word if it has been transformed into another valid code word then this syndrome will be 000 as we will see in this example suppose the transmitted code was 0101100 and an error has occurred at okay now this uh, uh, incurs error 0110001 what it says that wherever we have one the error transmitted bit has been toggled or incorrect transmit uh, incorrect bit has been received this is what this one says if all these were zero then it means no error has occurred actually it is just telling you the uh, location of the error so what we do is that we simply do the modulo 2 addition for this one as well for example if error has occurred at this location this one is telling you that at in the transmitted code word at look, uh, bit number 2 error has occurred this one is indicating this thing so this one has been flipped from uh, 1 to 0 as you can see over here look over here it has been flipped from 1 to 0 this one says that this third bit has been flipped from 0 to 1 at location number 3 so this one has been toggled from 1 to 0 and this one says that this seventh bit has been toggled from 0 to 1 as you can see over here so this is the received uh, code word having uh, errors at location 2 3 and 7 but the problem is that this 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 is a valid code we haven't seen the list of valid codes so far but if we'll go through it then we'll know that this is has been transformed into a valid code word of uh, Hamming code so now this is a problem when we will decode this one then we will get error syndrome 0 we will not get any error in the syndrome note E tells the position of bits at which the error occurs and position of error is indicated by 1 this one this one is actually just simply indicating the position of the error in which bit the error has occurred in above example, E is equal to 0110001 says that an error has occurred in the code word at bits at bit numbers 2, 3 and 7. Hence the error is uh, in this case is undetectable. So if the error has occurred in such a manner that it has transformed the transmitted code word into an another valid code word, then error cannot be detected. Error syndrome independence. Error syndrome S is independent of the code word incurring the error. It means that two different code words having error at the same position will produce the same error syndrome. So what it says that this error syndrome actually just in indicates the location of the error in the transmitted code word. And it does not care what that code word was, whatever it was, but if an error has occurred at that particular position, then the syndrome will indicate that error in the, uh, the indicate error in that location so let's go through an example over here c1 is equal to 110010 incurs error e is equal to 0010000 so it means that error has occurred at location number 4 and this bit 1 2 3 4 so this one zero has been toggled from 0 to 1 as you can see over here as it is written in red one one zero one this is transform bit or this is uh, the in the bit which has been toggled and zero one zero the parity check sums are first of all how do we calculate it we know that 
how to calculate parity checksum over here using the same thing these three formulas v1 v2 and v3 are added using modulo 2 and then it is added with this parity bit number 1 this is v5 over here v5 so the result is 0 again over here 1 uh, v2 v3 and v4 so v2 v3 and v4 are added using modulo 2 and then parity bit 1 is added so it gives 1 now as you can see this is giving you 1 instead of 0 it means the error has occurred so because if there is no error then all these s1 s2 and s3 must be 0 and now this s3 is also added using v1 v2 and v4 and then it is added using added to the this parity bit uh, p3 and the result is 1 again so s is equal to 0 1 1 but this 0 1 1 is actually not telling you where the error has occurred uh, when we'll go through the syndrome table which corresponds to the uh, syndrome table which corresponds this syndrome to an error location then we'll know where the error has occurred so this but as you can see error occurred at bit number 4 S for this code word the result we get 0 1 1 which indicates that error has occurred at this location now consider c2 is equal is equal to 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 incurs same error 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 it means again this uh, error has occurred at fourth number bit fourth number bit 0 0 1 1 this one has been toggled to 0 in red over here and the receive code word has become 0 0 1 0 1 0 one now the syndrome is calculated in the same fashion s1 is uh, gives you zero s2 gives you zero s3 gives you one uh, s2 gives you one and s3 gives you one so the s is equal to zero one one so as we can see although the code words are different but if the error has occurred in the fourth bit we will always get this the same syndrome so uh, it, this syndrome actually locates or ad identifies the location of uh, the error bit in the received code word. Now as you can see over here this is the table syndrome table but this is for only single error as I have explained you before. Now we go through this previous example this uh, syndrome was 0 1 1 so over here 0 1 1 is tells you that the error has occurred in this fourth bit once this syndrome is calculated the decoder will uh, compare it with its table which is uh, stored in its uh, uh, memory and this will tell it that error occurred at bit number 4 so it will simply toggle it from whatever that value was for example in this case it will toggle it from 1 to 0 and in this case it will toggle it from 0 to 1 to get the correct code word Hamming codes decoding example there is another example of Hamming Hamming code single error this is example of single error find the error for received code word v is equal to one zero one one zero zero one now we have just received an uh, received a, a code word we don't know how where the error has occurred we are going to find the location of error or if there is there is an error or not error we have to find that first of all s1 is calculated v1 plus v2 plus 3 v3 plus v5 v1 is 1 v2 is equal to 0 and v3 is equal to 1 so 101 and v5 is this zero so they are all added uh, which gives zero over here then s2 is calculated v2 is this v2 is zero v3 is one and v4 is one also and v6 is equal to zero so zero one one zero is equal to zero s3 is equal to v1 is one v2 is zero and v4 is equal to one and v7 is equal to one so one 
0 1 1 gives you 1 now the syndrome which we get over here is 0 0 1 now we, let's look at this table decoder will look into this table and it will find what uh, where the error has occurred it says that if the syndrome is 0 0 1 then the error has occurred in bit number 7 in the parity bit in fact over here so it will simply toggle this one from one to zero it will change it change this one to zero and it this the received code word will be corrected so th as we can see this is forward error correction because we have instead of retransmit uh, asking for the retransmission we are correcting the uh, error bit at the decoder side so it is forward error correction it means error occurred in the seventh bit of the code word the correct to correct it simply change it from 1 to 0 hence the transmitted code word was 1011000